Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Donnie and this week I'm going to be doing a plan with me video in my Erin Condren planner. It's my lifestyle planner using a kit from Plan for Happy. All the links to everything I'm showing you will be down below in the description box. The three pins you see are the most recent collection that Pin Gems has, the Satin Collection. I pulled those out because every one of them goes with this kit and I don't know what I'm going to end up using. I've also pulled some palm clips of my own collection. I made those. If you want to see how to make palm clips, look below. I will link the video that I just made. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, it matches perfect bow clip from the Creative Bee. Some stickers I've made using my Silhouette Machine. And this gorgeous Valentine's Day kit. It's a digital kit. Doesn't look it, but it is. I foiled, I printed, foiled, and cut this kit. And her graphics are gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. This is rose gold foil. There are so many pages that were foiled little bits here and there you'll see that page with the confetti headers and the weekend banner bow headers a little bit on that page there i chose to print in color the icons page but look what you can do with this kit you can print and foil all the icons okay i'm just going to take a second and show how pretty this is if you like what you see and you want to try this yourself, I've also made a video showing how I did this. And it gets into uh, pretty detailed, it gives pretty detailed instructions, I think, on how to print and cut and foil a kit. Um, using Simply Gilded uh, Rose Golds, I pulled out all the rose golds I had that went with the kit. Um, the washi is from there that has the larger bows on it. And Inspired Life Studios is a newer washi that I've come across. It's got some smaller bows on it. And the glitter washi that I've used frequently, but I don't remember where it came from. I'm going to go into fast motion here. I'm going to white out all the spots on my, my page that I usually put stickers on. And as you can see, I do more than most, I, I would guess, because I... I do the dates that most people white out, but I also do the whole flag on both sides. And in the upper left hand corner, I also white out the month. And that's because I have a month sticker that I want to use that's been foiled. As I'm pulling out the bottom washi that is in the kit, um, it's slightly short. So I realized I had to white out just a little bit of the end of those lines. And let me say real quick, that as I was doing this, I did not measure first to see if I had enough room to put both of those strips of washi to do what I wanted to do. So I changed what I'm going to do. You'll see that in just a second. But the main thing is the kit did not cut on my silhouette machine in perfect uh, in perfectness. I was a little ticked off that my machine and I are still struggling to agree with each other on how to cut a kit. Anyway, I evidently did not have my blade down far enough to cut all the way through, all the way around. So, anyway, I'm going to go back and replace this bottom washi, but just a little bit higher than I did originally. And then I'm going to use the narrow bottom washi with the little hearts that are foiled on it and put that on. I decided that the larger bows uh, tape piece uh, was probably not going to fit what I wanted it to do. And here you see me trying to peel off those extra little pieces that did not cut. That It takes me off because you're going to see me doing that throughout the whole kit. All the pages have little spots on them that did not cut. And as I print and cut a page, I usually peel off at least one sticker to make sure it cut through correctly. And I evidently did not ever peel off one sticker that was stuck when I was doing my test. 
I'm placing the days. I'm doing the week of February 11th through 17th, which is the week of Valentine's Day. Um, I'm going to be putting the days of the week up on top. And I just got to say, when this kit came out and I saw the video she made of what she had foiled, I jumped on it. I mean, I don't... I don't know that I was the first one to buy the kit. I doubt that. But when I saw the video on, I believe it was Instagram, I, I hit buy. <laughs> you know, I went straight to her site and I bought the kit. And I've been uh, using it in some of my videos as uh, the example as to how I had foiled. So again, if you're interested, I'll link that below. I'm putting in my sidebar a little different this week. I started with that bottom sticker because I wanted it to fit. Here's my little foiled half headers that I usually use above and below my full box that's up in that sidebar. And I'm looking for, I don't remember what now. Oh, I'm looking for the flags for the corners. I did not notice flags that were large enough. It, it's possible that they could be there and I just missed them but I there were some shorter flags but I really wanted foiled big flags so I pulled out these that I had foiled and cut by simply D designs again she'll be listed below I have figured out it took me a while but I'm probably a digital kit planner at this point I buy some kits but not frequently. I have more fun if I do it myself. And that February sticker I made uh, using my silhouette machine. And uh, I have done so many videos, y'all. If you're interested in anything I've made, there's probably a video that I've made for it. So uh, the February sticker, I think I actually made a video of how I do um, script stickers too. Cause, and, and I do them because y'all ask. So if you're interested in something that um, that you'd like to see on a video, ask me in the comments and I will either tell you where you can find one that I've already done or I'll just do one because I have fun making those. Again, I'm using some stickers that I made myself. These are just foiled headers. And I'm going to be probably placing all of my headers first and with the full boxes. Uh, and I like to use this foiled header uh, above my full boxes probably about 98% of the time I do that. I noticed in my B6 planner that I'm not as, I don't adhere to that quite as much. But in my Erin Condren, that's usually what I do unless there's just something that comes with a kit that is just adorable then I might use that but again these were all foiled and all the foil you see on this is rose gold it was the perfect the perfect touch to this kit I have also made this kit in pink and uh, the pink foil looks pretty with it as well but the rose gold just is a warm tone and it gave this kit the perfect like i said it was just perfect for this kit and i'm still trying to figure out where i'm going to be putting my full boxes obviously because now i'm picking this one up i realized that i had a weekend that i wanted to make the banner at the top of the row on the weekend and I didn't look to see how I've done this before I just was winging it so now I'm going to place this where I want it and then I'm going to go even faster and go through very quickly the weekend banner after I get these full boxes placed on Saturday and Sunday I usually put my full boxes um, next to each other and that's just kind of how I like to do the weekend because of the weekend banner that's going to go on the top. It just seems like it's easier for me just to go ahead and plan that way. Oh, and I've also learned that Viv loves to plan on her channel that she has a, a wiggle 
that she does and it's called the Viv Wiggle. So anytime now that I am showing you how the foil shines and I am wiggling the pages back and forth, I usually call it a shimmy. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's the Viv Wiggle. So I want to mention that because I thought that was so cute. So whether it's a shimmy or a wiggle, it's it's foil and it's pretty. This particular rose gold ombre bow washi from Simply Gilded is from the most recent um, shipment. In fact, it came like the day before I got uh, I made this video, and of course I pulled it out right away. I don't know what it's called, but it is the beginning of February of 2019, and if y'all ordered it around that time, you'll you'll have it too. I believe it was pretty easy to get a hold of. I can't remember if it was from a release or or not. It might have been from a pre-sale. I'm not sure. In the kit, there were these magnificent uh, foiled confetti foiled headers and I definitely wanted to use some of those so I pulled those in oh and I got fingernail polish on my page sorry about that and my camera quit so I had to sorry if that looked rough but I was trying to get the fingernail polish off that spot but I did cover it up later with the stickers from the kit and again I'm just whiting out the spots that I know that a sticker is going to go on that if I did not white it out, it, the line from the Erin Condren planner would show through. And basically, I just used the planner for the the skeleton or the the foundation uh, for laying my stickers. Here I'm pulling in the foiled bow headers that also are included in the kit, and they're gorgeous. I knew for a fact I was going to be using those. They're at the very bottom of that page I'm holding there. And they are the four different shades of the pink. I went there that, I think it's around the edges that it didn't cut well. But those four shades of pinks and orange, peach, whatever, um, blend so well with the kit that it was really easy just to place them anywhere and they went well. I tried to scatter the colors back and forth on the pages so that it wouldn't be all one color on one page. And I apologize for the the cut on this kit. It The kit was gorgeous. It was my machine that did not cut it well. Look at those stickers. You could do anything with a sidebar. Oh, it was hard to choose. I'm pulling out all the pages that have quarter boxes and half boxes now because Next, I want to place, I don't know if you noticed, but I go from the largest stickers down to the smallest stickers as I do my plan. I plan as I go uh, throughout the week, and of course this is a week ahead to me. Uh, my current week, I haven't, even, I haven't even done yet, so I'm just skipping it this time um, video-wise. I'm still going to put stickers on the pages and use it, but not in the order that you see here. So as I go down to the smaller sizes, I've placed half boxes at the bottom of each of the days in the boxes that are left open. And now I'm putting quarter boxes. These have a little bit of foil, just a little scatter of, of foil, that's hard to say, on one side of the sticker. And I kind of wanted them to go back and forth. I thought that looked cute. And then I was looking for one more element to add in that little bit of box that was left. And I went through the kit, multiple pages of the kit, and I found these stickers. There are five of them. And they have a little bit of foil on one edge as well. And I tried to place those back and forth. You saw me just now stick a sticker which she has included in each page of her kit, and it's her own name. Uh, simply, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes, and I picked up Simply Gilded. It's um, her kit, Plan for Happy. 
uh, her stickers and I put that down there you'll see me change it out in a minute when I notice that I have foiled that same sticker on a different page I'm gonna put the foiled one on there but these little flag quarter boxes that are foiled I've decided to place going the opposite direction underneath the other quarter box and now you saw how excited I was about getting to use this finally 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 I'm gonna use the icons I'm going to start with I believe Valentine's Day and it's hard for me to figure this out because I go pretty quick right now I'm still you know fast forwarding through here the icons that you see of the coffee the TV I think to the laundry um, and I'm not sure what else she has. Oh, there I go figuring out I have a foiled shop sticker. But she has these not only just in a kit like this that you can foil or print in color, but she also has them on her site as, as pages that you can print. So um, if you look at her shop, you'll, you'll see different variations that you can pick and choose from. I'm just excited to have a whole page of icons to go ahead and pick from um, that I've already foiled in rose gold foil because I don't have much in rose gold right now. So I'm going to town. Usually I don't put a whole bunch of icons down, but this time I did because I wanted to do the Viv Wiggle. So I wanted to go ahead and place those where I think I'm going to be using it. The second page here, that was a Netflix that I pointed out because I'm going to use that later. You'll see me put my leftovers here in a second at the front of my Erin Conran planner. I use a, uh, a sticky pocket that I bought off of Amazon in a package. I'll, I'll link that below. Oh, I need to write myself a note so that I'll do that. But that sticky pocket right there fits inside the covers I have one in the front and the back of the Erin Conran life planner they fit perfectly so I have bought like three sets three packs of those stickers um, to use I'm trying to figure out which of the clips I'm going to use on the left and that's how it has turned out there's the Viv wiggle look at the pretty pretty foil I was really delighted with this kit. I've got to say, uh, it was knocked out of the park. It was so pretty. Filming this part here, I slowed it down so that y'all could actually see the stickers that I've used. Those icon stickers foiled beautifully. The whole kit foiled perfectly. And I was highly delighted with it. I, by the way, use removable sticker paper from online labels. Um, I use the one that is that is marketed as usable in inkjet and laser printers so you can use it in both and because you foil with a laser printer overlay in black um, I had to have a paper that would do both there's that plan for happy sticker that I placed in the corner I tried to get that in focus y'all I really did but I failed sorry about that but here's the yumminess of the kit up close. All the pretty foil. I just loved it. Yeah, I'm in love with the kit. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Everybody take care. Have a lovely Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.